In this problem, we have a frequency table. It says that it summarizes service times of dinners at a fast food restaurant. So for example, seven here means that seven people had service times that fell somewhere between 60 and 119 seconds. The 24 means that there was 24 people and their service times fell somewhere between 120 and 179 seconds. The question wants to know how many individuals are included in the summary. Well, the frequencies tell us the total number of people that fall in each category, or the total number of service times. And each service time refers to a person, so these are actually just people. So all you have to do is add all these up. So it's going to be 7 plus 24 plus 14 plus 3 plus 5. Let's try it. So 53. So 53 individuals are included. So let's type that in. 53. Good stuff. Is it possible to identify the exact values of all of the original service times? So usually when you're doing these follow-up questions, um, the way I do it is I don't read the choices. First I try to answer it and then I look at the choices because three of these choices are wrong. So if you just start reading all the choices, it could be confusing. So no, it's not going to be possible to identify all of the service times because all we know, for example, is that seven people had service times that fell somewhere between 60 and 119. We actually don't know what those times are, so we can't actually retrieve the data from a frequency table. So I'm going to say this one here, B. No, the data values in each class could take on any value between the class limits inclusive. Right, so these are the class limits, right? So the values can be anywhere between those. Let's try it. Yep, that's it. I hope that made sense.